Hello, and welcome to our presentation on schizophrenia by Nick Entwistle and Will Brebner. The embroidery on the screen depicts the disrupted mental functions of a person suffering from schizophrenia. However, we will talk more about this later. The English word schizophrenia originates from the Greek schizine meaning split and friend meaning mind. However, this should not be confused with the similar dissociative identity disorder, also known as multiple personality disorder. Schizophrenia affects approximately 1 in 100 people. The disease occurs more commonly in men than women, and the average age of onset for males is 25 years, whereas in females it is 27 years of age. Disability adjusted life years is the difference between the average life expectancy in a country and the number of years lost due to a condition, in this case schizophrenia. Australia has the best healthcare for schizophrenics in the world. The West follows closely after. South America and Africa do adequately, however it is the Middle East and China that suffer the most. This is because there is still a stigma on mental health in these areas. Positive symptoms are ones not expressed by normal people. For schizophrenics, these include things like delusions, imagining things, both good and bad, that are not fair. Also, quickfire and non-sequential thoughts, which result in a lack of focus because they easily digress from a topic. Moreover, they're easily coerced since they can't control their self-interest and 40% attempt suicide. On the other hand, negative symptoms are similar to both normal people and schizophrenics, but schizophrenics tend to express the opposite. For example, appearing apathetic with unusual reactions to situations. Although schizophrenics contain the same amount of dopamine and serotonin hormones, the receptors are higher in number. People may have a genetic disposition, the disorder is made more common by certain genes, but in the middle ages, things like stress may trigger it. The frontal lobe contains these receptors and is involved in motivation, planning and personality, and schizophrenia results in reduced expression of these. The hippocampus is used for short and long-term memory, so schizophrenics have a reduced memory capacity. Finally, the temporal lobe is used for sensory input, comprehension, and the disorder causes the voice in the head. Involuntary hospitalisation is common in order to reduce the danger to schizophrenics themselves and to society. Treatment includes dopamine receptor reduction drugs to effectively reduce unwanted brain activity, such as the internal voice. Pastoral therapy and counselling are also used to help others affected. To conclude, schizophrenia is a common disorder that may occur to anyone in the world. Symptoms include delusions, racing thoughts and lack of focus. We do not fully know what causes it, though genetics is likely to be a factor. Drug treatments do reduce symptoms, though side effects include reduced sensory reception. Thank you for watching. We hope you found it informative. 